January 1st, 2013, Ninja Warrior takes off on Roblox with its first competition. Throughout the following years, the competition evolves, establishing staples that would define the community. Over the span of six years and counting, thousands of competitors have tackled the various obstacles the community has devised. Countless fails, limited success. 225 competitors will take on three excruciating rounds to filter the field to a final 10 competitors who have shown enough skill to face a course of indescribable brutality. Anyone strong enough to conquer the course will win 10,000 Robux and the everlasting title of Grand Champion. This is the Robloxian Ninja Challenge. Hello everyone and welcome back to Robloxian Ninja Challenge. I'm your host, Aussie Bro, and this is my co-host, Reality Pales. From our original field of 225 competitors, our qualifying round has whittled the number down to a final 30. Now that the sun has set, we must move on to the quarterfinals round that will separate the good from the great, leaving us with a final 15 competitors that will take on the boot camp round before 10 are selected to take on the grand finals. We'll start off with our competitors that place lower within our top 30, such as 2005 Cheeseburger and Frosty Mantle, and then end it with our top performers from the first round, such as Andrastical and Kaylin F. The top three from the quarterfinals will be the team captains in boot camp. Let's go down to It's a Mary to talk about the obstacles that our competitors will be facing in the quarterfinals round. Thanks, Aussie. This is the quarterfinals course. You might recognize some of these obstacles from the qualifying rounds, but hidden away are some devilish new challenges. While the quintuple steps, downhill jump, swing jump, lightning bolts, and warped wall still remain, there's an all new third obstacle in the rotating bridge. Our challengers will have to cross this spinning board with cutout holes using any means available as long as they can get to the other side without touching the pads below. If they are able to scale the warped wall, they'll move into the new back half of this course. The gauntlet begins on the salmon ladder. Holding onto a bar, they'll try to ascend five levels without letting it get dislodged from the rungs. Conquer that and move straight into the sky hooks, comprised of two elements. The first is the ring swing, requiring athletes to unhook the ring from one cradle, swing across, and hook it onto another. If they get hung up for too long though, they'll lose their grip. Land that and it's over a 10 stud jump to reach the final hook on the second section. Diamond Dash awaits any intrepid challengers to survive this upper body test, where competitors will need to stride across four loose, floating platforms to the other side. And finally, it's a nearly 50 stud ascent to reach the top of the cargo climb. This cargo net is an exhausting task after 9 other obstacles, but if anyone can make it to the top, the buzzer awaits them, and potentially a spot in the boot camp round. Aussie in reality, back up to you. Thanks, Amiri. Now we head down to the start line where our first competitor is ready to begin the course. We are going to start off our field with Iconic Pisk, who placed 30th in the qualifying round. He was able to make it to the warped wall, but tried going up sideways, and he had no luck. But now, today is his chance for revenge. So let's see if he'll be able to make it back to the point he made last time. He was doing your signature dance at the start line for a moment there. That's irrelevant, but now he's on the steps, and he's going at a much faster pace than he did in the qualifying round. Onto the downhill jump. This can still be a killer! Oh no! Oh no, he jumps way too early! We have to see that again! He just jumped so early, he was barely even halfway down when he jumped. What an awful end for our first competitor. Now here's one of our lesser known competitors, it's Alex Zombie 11. Yeah, he was in our first heat of competitors, uh, one of the first 75 to take on the course, and he was one of three to make it to the warped wall, but he couldn't get up it. Now into the downhill jump, he just watched Iconic Pisk fail this. And nice, nicely through it. But now, no one has attempted this obstacle, but oh. wow, he just goes straight through the center, a flawless technique. He makes it on the swing jump. He's going zombie mode through this course right now. Wow, and look at his pace. He's going much faster than he did on qualifying night. But now he has to move on to the lightning bolts, which took out so many good competitors. Such a tricky obstacle, but he's making it work right now. Yeah, and he is taking his time, and that's fine. He does have a lot of it in this round. It's not as critical, but he does make it, and now he's onto his nemesis, the warped wall. First attempt. Oh, Ooh, no. Not even close. All right, second attempt. 
You're up at this time. Out. No, oh, no. And that leaves him the one final attempt. He has to make it up now or he probably won't move on. He goes for it. Oh, oh, no. oh no. He got so oh. close to the top and he's 0 for 6 on the warped wall. Uh, that brings us to our next competitor, Jakey0519. Now, he's the first competitor that we've seen tonight who was able to clear the course in the qualifying round. So he could be the first to make it to our back half today. And already a close call on the quintuple steps, but he's on to the downhill jump. Nice high grab, and he's through it. Nice, and I do remember his run was really smooth in the qualifying round. So I expect nothing less than that tonight. On to the swing jump. He is taking his time, but he gets through it without much trouble. Now he's going to move on to the lightning bolts. Still one of the more tricky obstacles on this course, but we're yet to see anyone fail on it tonight. I do have to say, Jakey is one of my favorite competitors in, in the community. He has a great attitude with every event he goes to, and it seems like that attitude is getting him through the lightning bolts. Very nice. Now, can he be the first to get up the wall today? Oh, Ooh, no. A bad first attempt, and in his qualifying round, he actually got up the wall in one try. So this is surprising to see him struggle. Oh, no. Oh, no. He only has one attempt left. Come on, Jakey. One minute on the clock. He has to do oh, it no. right now. And Come he's on, Jakey. And he he's got it. it. Thank God. But he will be our first today to attend the Salmon Ladder. Now, no one has seen an obstacle like this. He jumps onto the trampoline and he's off. First rung is good. Second rung. And he wow. does it. Now he's the first today to try the sky hooks as well. Oh no, he's Ooh. having a hard time mounting that ring there. No. It's a very tricky transition. No! No, Jiggy's out on the sky hooks. As you can see, he beasted through the salmon ladder the first today. And then on the sky hooks, he just didn't gather enough momentum to make this tricky maneuver to the second hook, and his grip gave out. Now we move on to Adhesi Mole. He's one of the few international competitors to make it to the quarterfinals, being from Indonesia. Looking good through the quintuple steps here. Yeah, very Got smooth. It. All right, now the downhill jump is no joke, but he has no problem through it. Now onto the rotating bridge. Oh, 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 no! What a brutal takedown! Oh, He's no. devastated. Let's look at that again. As you can see, he just got off center and it spun him onto the mat with such intensity. What an awful takedown and he'll feel that later. Now we move on to Frosty Mantle. Frosty Mantle joined the community a few years ago through Rich UK's automatic Roblox and Ninja Warrior game, where she quickly became one of the most famous competitors on the site due to her amazing performance. But in the qualifying round, she couldn't make it up the warped wall. And now she has a chance to avenge herself here in the quarterfinals. Frosty Mantle is not only an amazing athlete in the Roblox and community, but she's also an amazing academic and has some great credentials. Now she's onto the downhill jump and she has no problem through it. Now we just saw Heezy Mole fail the rotating bridge, but she does oh. it perfectly. Under the swing jump. We haven't Ooh. seen much trouble on this tonight, and that streak continues. Very nice, and very fast through the lightning bolts. Now she's coming up on the obstacle, one obstacle later in which she couldn't be in qualifying. So she has to have that in her mind as she's taking on this course. Ooh, very nice through the lightning bolts, and she's through with 43 seconds on the clock, a bit faster than she was on qualifying night. First All coming down to this obstacle. And she, First try. she avenges herself and now she'll take on the salmon ladder right into it yeah and she's ready to go now second oh she has a very oh. close call almost falls off but she saves it one more wrong she's got it like she's through it now into the sky hooks we saw jakey fail here just a minute ago oh and she saves oh, it barely and saves now it she's on to the second part and she does it! She'll be the first to beat this obstacle! And now the first to attempt the diamond dash! And straight through it! This is incredible! Now it's just the final net climb. This is one long climb to have at the end of an extreme.
extremely difficult course, but it looks like she's gonna make it up with a time of about a minute and 37 seconds. And she does, she's the first clear of the quarterfinals round. Congratulations, Frosty Mantle. She was able to avenge herself on the warped wall, had a little bit of a struggle on the salmon ladder. But after that, it was smooth sailing and she made it all the way to the end of the course with no problems. Frosty, you managed to finish the course to get out the wall in one try, something you couldn't do in three tries in qualifying. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of expected to fail the wall again, but it was, it was a pleasant surprise. And then a near slip on the salmon ladder and a good recovery on the sky hooks. You got across the diamond dash up the cargo climb. How are you feeling about your performance there? Um, I'm feeling pretty good and I uh, hope it gets, get me, gets me to boot camp. Well, finishing the course, you probably will get through to boot camp, so hopefully we'll see you there. I'll see you in reality. Back up to you. Following Frosty Mantle's success, three more athletes took on the course, but none of them could follow suit. The first competitor was Bowling Boy Ninja, who in the first episode was the first competitor to make it through the lightning bolts, but today he couldn't do it again. And then there was A Spada, who failed to make it up the warped wall in qualifying and met the same fate here in quarterfinals. Lastly was my guy, Quick Winnie Bulger, who was able to clear in the qualifying round, but today he dropped out on the rotating bridge. Now up next is 2005 Cheeseburger, and if there's anything we know about him, it's that his hands are cold. 2005 Cheeseburger has done exceptionally well in recent Ninja Warrior and Wipeout competitions, but recently he's garnered himself another reputation. What is he doing? 2005 Cheeseburger seems to always be suffering from some physical condition that is really undescribable, except from the words that come out of his own mouth. And as you can see, he's already talking about being ice cold. So, All right. let's see how he does on the course today. Yeah, I'd have to say it's better than being clammy, so I'd say that he has a good shot at today's course. But right off the bat, he's going incredibly slow. 10 seconds through the steps, it's not great. I mean, as long as he beats the obstacles, it's fine. But now he's onto the rotating bridge, and it's taking out Ihisimo among other competitors. Oh, no! And he's down! What a shock from stage three in Sasuke Roblox to the third obstacle. That's awful. Now we join American Roblox YT on the rotating bridge, and he's through. Very good. American Roblox U2 was one of the few who was able to clear qualifying. And now the course is even harder than it was in the previous round. So let's see if he can do it again and make it up the warped wall. Moving on to the lightning bolts now. This has been a killer in the qualifying round and tonight so far. So it would be great to see him beat it again. And he's doing it nicely. Oh, it gets a little stuck, but it's not going to be a problem for him. Onto the third set. And he's through onto the warped wall. Now in qualifying, he did have a stumble on this. He, he uh, made it up in his second try, but today he does it in one, and he'll be one of the few to take on the Samuel Ladder so far. Oh, Ooh, that was close. He makes it up to the second rung and the third. All right, he's looking better, and he's through. Very good. I got to say, for one of the lesser-known competitors, I'm surprised with this great run he's putting up. Yeah, he's doing amazing. Oh, and he misses the first thing. Oh, no. Thing. Oh, he's no. getting stuck. Uh, it doesn't look like it, and he's down on the sky hooks. A valiant effort, but it doesn't get him through the eighth obstacle. Now we move on to Beam Kirby, one of the show's rising stars. Yeah, he did amazing in the qualifying round, making it up the wall, and I believe he has the ability to make it back up there. But the question is, can he overcome the extended course? Onto the downhill jump, nice high grab, and he's through it. Now the rotating bridge, we just saw it take out 2005 Cheeseburger, and he takes a very moderate approach and it gets him through. Now onto the swing jump. We haven't seen anyone have trouble yet, but uh, it looks like he's being safe on it as well and it gets him through, and that's all that matters. Moving on to the lightning bolts now. He's through the first jump, onto the second set, he's through it. Mm -hmm. And he's through the lightning bolts really fast. Wow, that's actually surprising considering how safe he's been playing it. And he's up the wall in one. Incredible. And now he has to make it up the salmon ladder. We haven't seen anyone fall on it yet, but some people have gotten very close. He's going flawless so far. Flawless yes. through the entire salmon ladder. Great attempt, but can he beat the skyhooks? 
and he's struggling to get the ring off the track. Ooh, and he's off and straight onto the next hook. Now he needs to make this jump. And he's got it. And now he'll take on the Diamond Dash, the second so far that attempted. it. There's no idea what will happen, but he does it flawlessly. And now all he has is one climb to the top. Frosty Man will put up a time of 137, and if Beam Kirby can beat that, he actually puts himself in a good spot at becoming a captain in boot camp. And it looks like he's gonna do it! 136 on the clock, and he barely makes it! What an amazing run from Beam Kirby, congratulations, and he'll definitely move on. He started off a lot of the early obstacles with a very, very safe approach, and then towards the end, it ultimately paid off as he's able to finish the entire course. After Beam's incredible performance, four more of our finalists who cleared in qualifying took on the course. There was Kairu XYZ who made it easily through the quintuple steps, but made it to the rotating bridge, tried going down the middle, and it backfired hard. Lisanko Mary came prepared and ducked Floaty, but it didn't save him when he fell off the side of the rotating bridge, hitting the max hard. And then there was Comet Wave, who had a little bit of a struggle on the rotating bridge. He's the one who made it up the warped wall sideways in qualifying, but fell on the lightning bolts. Finally, we had Yellow Mailbox, who was able to overcome the quarters finals course. He completed every obstacle with amazing precision and accuracy, and made it to the top of the cargo climb, joining Frosty Mantle and Beam, getting a time of two minutes. After those last few runs, we now have a full leaderboard of 15 competitors, which means now people are going to start getting knocked off. Right now, we have had three competitors clear the course. First place is Beam Kirby, second is Frosty Mantle, and third is Yellow Mailbox. If anyone is able to clear the course under 1 minute and 57 seconds, they will take the captain spot from Yellow Mailbox. By the end of the night, the top three fastest times on this quarterfinals round will become captains for the boot camp round, and then they will be able to select their teammates. In fourth and fifth place, we have American Roblox YT and Jakey0519, who were able to make it up the warped wall, but then fell on the skyhooks. And then after them on the leaderboard are people who either failed the warped wall or before that point, including Adhesimol, who fell on the rotating bridge. At the bottom of the leaderboard, we have Iconic Pisk, who failed the downhill jump. And if any of our next 15 competitors beat the downhill jump, he will be eliminated. A lot of the competitors on the lower half of our leaderboard are likely to go soon, as we have our top competitors left the run from the qualifying round. And Aussie, I've got to say, with the things they're looking right now, we might not even have 15 people make it up the warped wall. Well, it is looking bleak. We still have some of our best competitors yet to run, and one of those is Bryce Lee. And I have full confidence that he'll be one of the next competitors to make it up the cargo climb. I was going very quickly already on the quintuple steps. Yeah, speed has always been an aspect of his runs, and in the qualifying round, he got around the fastest time about fifth, but I know he would love to get the fastest time today and right through the rotating bridge, no hesitation. Now onto the swing jump, wow! One quick swing and he's onto the net. Look at his time, right now he is at 23 seconds onto the lightning bolt. This has demolished anyone else's time to this point so far. And he's through it quickly, 36 seconds. This is an impressive time he's putting up right now. Can he get up the wall in one? He does! Yeah, and now he's onto the Salmon Ladder with 43 seconds. Now, no one has failed this yet today, and but it is a challenge nonetheless. Oh no! Oh no! And he loses it on the last rung! What happened there? Oh, uh, it looks like he got up there and he was just going too quick that I think he forgot to jump. That's right, I do think he failed because he rushed. Bryce, you were really quick through the first half, the first six obstacles, but on the same ladder, that last jump, you just slipped up. What happened? You know, before I ran, I predicted that I would fail the salmon ladder because that's pretty much the only obstacle that I had trouble with, with in the training camp. I think because I tried to jump too quick from each rung that one of them just slid off and that's pretty much what cost me. Well, so far, you're one of the first people we've seen get to the Salmon Ladder, so hopefully that run's going to hold up, but if not, then you might be out. I really do hope it holds up. Well, thanks for coming out. We do hope to see you in the next round. Aussie in reality, back up to you. Up next is the Controller Ninja in our first chronological clear from the qualifier. It's TCM. 
Yeah, he did amazing in the qualifying round, where he made a great save on the lightning bolt. But you know that has to be in the back of his head on his attempt tonight. Also, this time around, it's a lot more about speed, and I'm worried that being on controller might not help him here. Yeah, and a lot of people have fallen here, and he has a close call, but he oh. does it. And now onto the swing jump. All right, he's prepping, and he is taking some time, so it's he'll have one to swing. Up. Oh, that that's actually going to save a lot of his time. As you can see here on this obstacle, he made an incredible save on the dismount. But let's see if he can get through the lightning bolts today, worry free. Taking a moment to gather himself before he starts the obstacle. Mm -hmm. About to make like this jump to the second set. Very nice. Now he's reaching the point where he fell last time, or almost fell. And oh fell. no! And TZM down on the lightning bolts! What happened? Oh, it looked like that right side, he just didn't get the distance with it. Oh, he jumped too far to the left, actually. A tragic end for TCM, but we must move on to G-Man 992421. G-Man joined the Roblox Ninja community a few years ago, starting out in Ninja Warrior of Roblox, and now he's moved his way into Sasuke Roblox, where he currently has cleared stage one in all three competitions. Well, now he's on the RNC quarterfinals. Last time in qualifying, he was able to clear and make it up the warped wall. But today, there are four additional obstacles after that. So let's Don't see if he can do it. He just saw TCM fall here. Yeah, it has to be in the back of his mind as he's taking it on. But he storms through it, no problem at all. And now to the wall, he took two attempts to get up on qualifying. And ooh, he oh. misses one. All right, second attempt. Very nice. History repeats itself. Onto the salmon ladder now. He's making quick work of it. Yeah, right up to the top at about a minute and five seconds now to the ring swing. Now to give himself a good chance of getting it through to the next round, he has to beat this obstacle. And he does just that, and now he's onto the diamond deck. But he has to be a time of 1 minute and 57 seconds to make it into the captain's leaderboard, and it looks like he's going to do it. He has plenty of time to do that. Absolutely no worries. And now after Yellow Mailbox this time, he can even get the fastest time today. He just has about 4 seconds left. He has to make it up right now. And he and does got the it. fastest time so far. 134.50. And we'll definitely see him in the boot camp round. G-Man, an impressive run all the way through the course. Not really any issues. Didn't get hung up anywhere. How are you feeling about that performance? Uh, I feel good. Uh, I did, but yeah, um, I wanted to go quicker on the swing jump, but uh, I thought I didn't think I had enough distance there, so I just was precautious again. Uh, but that's fine. I still made it through the course. Everywhere else, I felt fine on, and hopefully, I'll be advancing the boot camp now. Well, it was a good run. You're pretty likely to move in there considering you managed to finish all 10 obstacles. Well, if you do, we'll see you there. I'll see you in reality. Back up to you. Up next at the start of the course is Dak Tracked. Most of you probably remember from the qualifier, we had a very close call on the downhill jump and then ultimately cleared the course with the 11th fastest time. Well, now he's about to take on the downhill jump again. Oh, and he does much better. No close calls today. But now he has the rest of the course to take on. Oh, and oh, the rotating bridge is going wow. insane. Wow. What a save. That was so close. And now he's just breezing through the rest of the course. Just something about Dak Tracked and having incredibly close calls on obstacles. Well, let's see if he can avoid a close call on the lightning bolt. He's actually going through the obstacle pretty quickly. Yeah, and now he's onto the warped wall. Can he make it up in one? And oh. Oh no. That was not good. All right, he has two more attempts. And yeah, very on. nice. Okay, now to the salmon ladder. Tricky obstacle, but we haven't been seeing too much trouble with it today. Mm -hmm. It's only taken out Bryce, and he, it looks like he's going to do it. Now he's onto the sky hooks. Ooh, oh, a little bit of lag. And oh, he, oh, he's struggling. He can't catch it. It doesn't look like he's going to make oh, it. No. Oh, and he's down on the sky hooks. Oh, and the fursuit is wet. After his run, three competitors who were in the top 10 fastest times from the qualifying took on the course, and all of them failed the rotating bridge. 
Yeah, it's so shocking to see some of our fastest competitors from the qualifier making mistakes this early on in the course. One of those competitors was Free the Polar Bear. In the qualifying round, she had a close call in the prism tilt, so she was worried about the balance obstacle today. Nevertheless, she failed. And with that, her RNC career ends here. Now we move on to Zach Giraffe, who just hurdled the gate on the wall and misses his first attempt on the wall. That's anticlimactic. <laughs> well, all right, he's up the wall on his second shot, and he looks like he's celebrating early, but he saw four more obstacles to beat, starting with a salmon ladder. He's actually doing pretty well on it, and he's through. Now he's onto the sky hooks. We've seen a lot of failure on this obstacle so far. Yeah, and we just saw Dattrack failed it, but he's through onto the second part, and he does it. He's secure onto the diamond dash. Now, right now, the time to get into the captain's position is 137, and he's through the diamond dash. Now it's just one climb to make it to the top. It's going to be pretty close to be that top time. Yeah, he has 10 seconds left to make it into the top three. And can he take the fastest time? It looks like he's going to do it. And he does. And Amazing, with 0 0.20 seconds left to spare, he's not only in the top three, but he gets first. Let's look at that run again. He made it through the back half of the course with so much ease, and ultimately it got him our fastest time we've seen so far. Now we move on to Batman Wing 123, and he's one of our speedsters of the course. Which is not great for Zach Draft, who just got our fastest time. You know Batman Wing will be aiming for the top time, but before that, he actually has to perform and beat the obstacles, unlike his qualifying performance. And now onto the rotating bridge. Ooh, Perfect! Well, he actually has no fear going onto this course, and he just... He's blazing it. Now he's going onto the lightning bolts. I've seen a little bit of struggle with this obstacle today. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, coming up, Batman Wing failed the warp wall in qualifying. So it will be his aim to make it up, but let's see if he can do it in one. Oh, wow! He does. 39 seconds. He obliterated the top time in qualifying. Now let's see if he can make it through the back half. He's up the salmon ladder so quick. Now he's under the sky hooks with such a fast time. Yeah, look at it. And he's gonna make it through sky hooks in under a minute. And he does just that. Now he's under the diamond dash, and he's going through with no problems. Look at that time. He has over 30 seconds to make it into the top three. Now let's see if he can beat 134 and get the fastest time. But it looks like he's going to have no problem with that. And by far, he takes the fastest time of the night. Incredible. I can't believe he's done that. From 24th in the qualifier to easily the fastest time. Just look at his run. And he makes it through the course in a speedy minute 17.99 seconds. Now we move on to Braver Coolio 02. In the last round, he was able to make it up the warped wall and clear it in under a minute. So today, I believe he can be one of the few that make it to the back half of the course. Perfectly through the steps, now into the downhill jump. Nice high grab. We've seen the rotating bridge take out a lot of competitors today, and it's tilting, but he has no Perfect. problem with it. 20 seconds on the clock. Oh, and he's beating wow. this. Now onto the lightning bolts. Under 30 seconds, and he's going to be on the lightning bolts already. Yeah, he could even be going for a fastest time, but he does have to make it up the wall in one if he wishes to achieve that. Whereas he took about three attempts in the qualifying round. All right, here he goes. Ooh, oh no. Not That's even close. Not good for him. Oh, and he goes right into the second attempt, and oh, oh no. no. He might actually fail this. He has to get up right now. No! Oh no! He's down on the warped wall. I can't believe that after clearing it and qualifying. And now we move on to an epic rushy ram. An epic has been competing in Ninja Warrior competitions on Roblox for the good part of half a decade now. And he's had multiple success, including getting to stage two in Sasuke Roblox and the final stage of Ninja Warrior of Roblox. Well, he's now on the swing jump and look at his time. He's going insanely fast. He might even be a candidate to beat Batman's time. Now into the lightning bolts. He didn't have many problems with this in qualifying. Oh, oh, oh he's getting caught up and he saves it. 
Wow. Oh, that was insane. And he's through. What a close call, but now on the warp wall and oh, oh he no. stumbles. We just saw Braver fail this. He cannot be another victim. No! no! We can one have one of our attempt. top people go down on the warped wall right now. Alright, third attempt. And He's got he it. Alright, well, close. he can no longer beat the fastest time, but the third place time, 1 minute and 34, can still be beaten in order to make it into the captain's position. Oh. Ooh. Close call on the salmon ladder as well, but he's still onto the ring swing. Misses it. A little it. bit of struggle. Okay, he's got it. Down to the jump. And he's got it. Okay. Not and the fastest time. No, it won't be able to make it into the captain's position. But he still will clear nonetheless, which should get him into boot camp. Well, <laughs> after all the struggles that he had to overcome on this course, uh, he ended up doing overall really well. Yeah, and he's going to clear with a time of 1 minute and 45 seconds flat. Very good. Let's look at their run again. So you can see on the lightning bolts, he got crooked temporarily. And then it took him three attempts to make it up the warped wall. He really flirted with danger throughout this entire run, but he made it through. An epic! That was a ridiculous save on the lightning bolts. I think I just messed up a jump. I had to recover, and I guess I did. I have no. I honestly have no clue how that happened. I should have failed, to be honest. If it wasn't already established that you're one of the top competitors in this competition, I think that locked it in. And then you got through the rest of the back half of the course, you made it up the cargo climb, you hit the button, and the odds are you're going to be moving on to boot camp. That, let's go. Let's see in reality, back up to you. After an epic Gretchen Ram, two of our top placing competitors from the qualifying took on the course. First, there was Precious Power Ranger, who placed fourth place in our qualifier. He made it all the way to the sky hooks, but just was unable to latch onto that second hook, and it was downhill from there. Free MMO Direct also took on the course. He got third place in the qualifying round, and he made it all the way to the back half before dropping out. Then you got to the skyhook portion, and you just missed the jump. Oh man, I just messed up my time, and I felt like I tripped up, and I don't know what happened. Just look how close he got on that transition there. Now we catch up with Kaylin F on the lightning bolt, and look how fast he's going. Unfortunately, we don't have any wacky profile piece from him this time around. And I think that's for the best. And look how fast he got up the wall. He posted the second fastest time in the qualifying round. So he might be able to take the fastest today. He's going fast up the salmon ladder already. Just under a minute onto the sky hooks. Mm -hmm. We just saw free MMO direct fail. Oh, here. oh he takes a second swing, but oh. he sees it. And now onto the transition. No! Oh, and he's down! And he ends in the water with a ring over his neck. Let's see that again. Oh my goodness. It looked so good from there. I mean, he struggled getting onto that second hook, but I thought he was good from there and he just undershot it by mere inches. Let's go down to Amiri. Kaylin, you had a good run going up until that eighth obstacle, the sky hooks. You made a good save on the ring swing, but when it came to that jump, you just came up short. What happened? Um, I did this thing called jumping way too early. My, my arms were sweaty, my palms were sweaty. It was good. I tried. Well, at this point, just based on how fast you got there, the odds are you will be moving on into boot camp. So good job on that, Ron. Thank you, Amiri. And Aussie in reality, back up to you. Our final competitor is in Drastical, Pop Seed from the qualifying round. Very interested to see how he does tonight. Yeah, he was the underdog in the qualifying round. We didn't expect him to do that well, but he amazed us with the fastest time, so I think he has great potential tonight. But can he prove that he wasn't a fluke from the first round? The question is, now that he's already gotten one first place under his belt, is he gonna go for another, or is he just gonna play it safe? Ooh, that was not safe. He almost came up short on the net, but he's through with the fastest pace that we've seen from any competitor this round. Down to the lightning bolts. And Epic Retrogram did get caught up here earlier today, but he has no problem with it. 36 seconds onto the warped wall. And 
Oh no! He doesn't make it up in one, and that oh, makes getting no. the fastest time almost impossible. But can he beat it? All right, up in two. Now he's moving on to the salmon ladder, and he's going to need to make up some serious time here if he wants to be able to clench that captain spot. Yeah, 134.5 is a time to beat, and it looks like he can do it, but can he beat the course? Oh, he oh misses it. no. All right, a save. And now we've seen this one jump take out our last few competitors, and Ooh. he's through. Now to the diamond deck. Oh, oh no! Oh, what? I wasn't expecting that at all. What oh my there? god! He had a great run up until that point with a few slip ups, like on the swing jump. And then on the diamond dash, he just got too far forward on it. And he wasn't able to jump like he needed to. What a shocking failure from Andrastical, the only one to fail the diamond dash. Now that all 30 competitors have took on the quarterfinals round, let's look at the final list of the 15 competitors who will move on to boot camp. In first place, we have Batman Wing 123, who cleared in a time of 1 minute and 17.99 seconds. He's followed by Zach Draft in second, who got a time of 134. And in third place, we have G-Man992421, who cleared in a time of 134.5. These three competitors will be the captains for the boot camp round. And in the next episode, they will pick their teammates. And then in eighth place, we have Andraskal, who was our sole Diamond Dash fail. And then we have some of our faster fails on the Skyhooks, such as Kalen F and Dactract. Rounding out our top 15, in 13th and 14th, we have American Roblox YouTube and Jakey, who both failed the Skyhooks. And taking the final position into the boot camp round, we have Bryce Lee, who made it to the Salmon Ladder. In the next episode, we'll see our three team captains pick their teammates, and by the end of the night, one of our top 15 will have been eliminated. For my co-host, Reality Pales, and our sideline reporter, It's a Mary, I'm Aussie Rowe, and I'll see you on the next episode of Robloxian Ninja Challenge.